I'm Brooke. And we're here to talk to you today about concrete. It's neat from my head down to my feet. But before we do that, we're doing some type of... Q&A? No, no, no. We're doing some type of contest. We're going to let Patchouli do it because I don't really pay attention to that. No, it's just this whole rule. Uh, Share anyway. and you get a $25 Amazon gift uh, card for the winner of... Um, who shares the most? No, no, they gotta no? share, or you gotta like, subscribe, hit the bell, and share, and you get in, entered into a drawing, and you get a handheld penetrometer. Skadoosh! No, seriously, handheld penetrometer. Check out the thing below, because we go into the handheld, and that thing is flipping awesome. Especially if you're on job sites, and you're a long pour, handheld penetrometer, freaking awesome. Amazon gift card. Amazon, no, it is no, right. no, it's a, no. We're doing if, I'm, if we're doing this, we're doing. You're not getting an Amazon gift card. That's impersonal. You're getting something that I believe in, and I think it's fun as all get out. Handheld penetrometer. That's funny. We, in lieu of doing that, what I wanted to do is talk about what we're doing right here. This is very difficult to do. Um, just the other day, I was on the call with one of our clients. We were talking about them doing videos. When we help our clients out. Um, we always talk about them engaging with the camera, mm -hmm. and this is Brooke's second video that she's doing with the second or third? Second. Second. And the first one, if you haven't seen it, the link is down below. Dude. Yay. It so, was flipping. Fine. You know, there was even a mistake in the mix that you did, and the retelling of that was flippity, mm -hmm. awesome sauce. Yeah. So, but piggybacking on that, Brooke asked the question, who do I look at? What do I look at? Right. Do I look at the camera? And, and here's the thing, I, and I've been watching a lot of different channels and, you know, we are a very small drop in a very big pond, and, you know, of course, a pond is but a, 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 a summation of small drops, so, you know, yeah. uh, the camera is the audience. So, we look at the audience, Hi guys. but you wouldn't stare directly at the audience dead-eye you know, for five minutes and 17 seconds, or seven minutes and 48 seconds. It gets a little uncomfortable for you and the viewer, so you talk to the viewer as if you would talk to a human being. Where, you know, people like Lyndon B. Johnson, back. Or, or Steve Jobs, when they spoke to people, they stared them down dead eye. You know, during, and that made other people cave to their will. I don't really want that. <laughs> so especially when I'm talking to people, I just want it to be in you know an equal conversation. So talk like you would in the video, just to anyone. that's your person. Yeah. So um, okay. So as we digress, JB, uh, and I apologize if I'm butchering your name. Um, let's just say JB. I'm not gonna do All it because right. I was gonna butcher that. Had a great question. Um, is colloidal silica the same as silica fume? So, colloidal silica is a universal dispersion of nanosilica particles anywhere from 1 to 100 nanometers, and that's defined in ACI 241, American Concrete Institute, Nanotechnology of Concrete, as well as 241A. Used to densify concrete, increase cement efficiency, and increase strength. This is undensified colloidal silica. This is a manufactured product. Um, this is a byproduct, this undensified silica fume of a ferrosilicone alloy production. Uh, it's been around since the mid to late 70s, first recognized in Norway, and then it just started going all over the world, originally by Per Fittestol, and then brought to the U.S. by a gentleman named uh, Robert Lewis and his colleagues, and both of them are SiO2. Byproduct of ferrosilicone alloy production, manufactured product. This one specifically, 45 to 47 nanometers. And because this is a byproduct, it does have a distribution to it, but it's going to be a little bit more haphazard and there might be some more impurities. But the ASTMs that we have to regulate both a, uh, the, the silica fume, ASTM C1240, and the new to be published colloidal silica admixture ASTM, there are physical and uh, chemical parameters that a manufacturer has to stick to for the, uh, for the uh, products to be called what they are. So that being said, are they the same? Now Brooke, the reason why Brooke was, was brought on because I have a tendency of doing too much chemistry speak. And the point 
as, as you know, there, there, concrete is not talked about as it used to be talked about. I mean, there are some great books that were written in the 30s and 40s that talk about it. You've seen them. Fantastic. Yeah, Fantastic. so good. Love them. So when somebody asks me, what does colloidal silica do for concrete? Uh, with this silica fume, they both effectively manipulate the molecular kinetics of cement hydration to increase the, the density, reduce the permeability, the porosity of that hardened sponge of the cement matrix, ultimately leading to a concrete that is stronger and lasts longer. Both of them do it. They do it uh, with the same chemical mechanisms, but they go after it in two different directions and based on size. Does that all make sense? But wait a minute. What does that mean, John? <laughs> that was so staged. Good job. That's why we got her on camera. What does it mean, Brooke? Well, let me answer that question. Because the colloidal silica is a smaller size, it's going to have a different impact than on the larger size uh, silica fume. Now, we're not talking about a thousand times larger in all instances with the, with the, the silica fume. But in some, some instances, it's 10 times, it's 100 times larger than what we've got here. And because of that, we're going to get some other mechanisms from the colloidal silica that we don't see out of the silica fume. So what that means is colloidal silica is going to react faster. It's going to get a little bit more efficiency out of our cementitious package. The silica fume, it's going to react slower. So you might see a reduction in early strengths, but it's going to have staying power to it. Where the colloidal silica, because such a small particle, it won't have that same power. It might get burned up very quickly. Great paper by Land et al. back in 2012 on this calcium silicate hydrate seeding effect that you get. You know, you know what I'm talking about. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. So the other thing that you should notice is this one, the colloidal silica, is a liquid. And the undensified silica fume is a powder. So there have been some claims by a lot of governments that this stuff can cause silicosis, which is a bad thing that happens to your lungs. Look it up. It's terrible. Um, this is a liquid. You don't necessarily have to worry about it. So using this alone, I would use both of them when possible. And that's not possible all the time. So if I had to choose, um, I, I, I would choose the colloidal silica. It's liquid. It's easier to use. It can be used as an admixture. Um, you are not going to get the same long-term impact unless you use a very large particle or modified and large particle. Um, and those are quite a bit more expensive than the smaller particles. So, What if you mix that with water and made it a liquid? Oh my gosh, yeah. There's you a know? slurry. Yeah, it's yeah. called a slurry. It's yeah. called a, a micro silica or silica fume based slurry. Sorry. Um, and you could totally do that. Yeah. The slurries don't last very long in suspension, okay. and they are, you know, when you say the word slurry, you know, it doesn't have, you know, what does it sound like? It's, to me, it sounds like, you know, a melted milkshake. Okay. Almost sure. like a flurry, but a slurry. Oh. So, um, that, that's the consistency of it. So, you have to take that into account. It's not a true liquid admixture like this. There's a benefit to using both, um, but yeah, this is colloidal silica, the liquid, and here's your silica fume. Nice. Thanks for answering that question, John. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure you like, subscribe. Go Concrete! Beat Asphalt! Yeah.